I'm Lil Ed of Lil Ed and the Blues and Pirrells from Chicago, Illinois, direct from the car wash. in Chicago, uh, the west side of Chicago particularly. I used to, I started out working at the car wash and, uh, and was playing blues by, working at the car wash by day, playing blues by night. And uh, I got uh, hooked up with Alligator Records and got a contract and I started playing music full time. play blues, J.B. Hutto. He's a big blues man uh, in his time. He started me to playing music at the age of 11 or 12, I think it was. Anyway, he would teach me little stuff. He would teach me like, and that was, that's all he would teach me. Then he'd leave and go out of town. So when he got back, Two or three weeks later, he'd come over my house, and I said, Uncle JB, I, f I got it. And then he would look at me and say, OK, but can you do this? <laughs> so it confused me, you know? <laughs> so I had to learn, <laughs> and, and it went on, you know? And then the last time he came back, I had got that. And he, I said, well, I got it. And he said, but can you do this? So he was learning me how to play without me even knowing that I was learning how to play. See, I wanted to do this. That's what I wanted to do. But he kept me doing this because he, he learned me rhythm before he learned me lead. was teaching me, you know, I used to always try to sound like him because, you know, I thought he, the, he's the coolest, he's the, he's the top of the line, you know. And he was always telling me, he says, you know, you, you play it, you're playing good, but you're trying to sound like me. He says, I want you to sound like you. I'm playing all these different records. I'm playing Muddy Waters, I'm playing uh, 
uh, Jimmy Reed, I'm playing Johnny Hooker, and and I thought, man, you know, if I can combine a lot of this stuff, that would actually be me, you know. So I I combines a lot of these a lot of the musicians within me, so I can play what I need to play. I, I finally did develop my style. You know? I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> To really slow stuff, you know. I mean, it's, it's gotten me through times when I was having hard times at home or in, with my family or anything. You know, slow blues will put Satan you through. You know, you sit there and you, he needs to cry a little bit and have some fun, you know. <laughs> I like really slow blues. It tells a story. It tells uh, how bad you feel. It tells uh, how bad somebody's treated you. It tells how bad you don't want to be treated. You know, uh, it, it, it's part of my life. You know, there's times where, you know, I, instead of crying, I pick this up. You know, and, and just... Then do that, you know. And then I feel like, okay, it's time to go walk it off, you know? <laughs> in the soul. It's a feeling. It's, it's, a, it's a word spoken, you know. If somebody calls you a name, you get angry, you got the blues, man. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know? Somebody tell you a joke, you laugh, you got happy blues. I see people out there say, oh yeah, you ain't had the blues until you Stevie Ray Vaughan. You ain't had the blues until you Muddy Water. Yeah. It's all the same. <laughs> it's all the same. If, whether you heard it from Stevie, Muddy, Holland Wolf, same stuff. Everybody talked about how the lady left them, <laughs> what they was going to do the next day, and how well they feeling right then. It's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard some French blues people play, and I think it's great. You know what? In my opinion, it doesn't matter whether it's French, Italian, African, Malaysia. If it's blues, it's all the same. Because it all supports one thing, the heart. And, the, and soul. So it's all blues. When I 
on when I'm on that stage and I I look at you and make expression on my face and you react to it, then I know you feel it. Same thing I'm feeling, you know. <laughs> And I don't care if it's three people or 3,000, you know. I feel the love. I feel the interest. I feel the, the excitement, you know. And I feel the, I feel the pain sometimes. You want some of this bad cake, Dan? Yeah. Tarantha, you got to get on down. I got the story, baby. Oh, you <laughs> I think the blues, the traditional blues, will always be here. But it's going to take another form. And as an older musician, I don't really like to say that because I like it the way it is. But if you talk to your parents, you know, when they were coming up, their parents didn't like their music either. <laughs> you know, and we, we come up, our parents didn't like our music. <laughs> <laughs> well, so if it changes and I'm, if I'm 85 sitting at home and I hear something and it, it's, I know, and they say it's the blues and I know, and I'm going to say to myself, that's got to be crazy because I've never heard blues sound like that in my life. But then again, I'll have to think, where well, the world have changed so much. There it is. <laughs> there it is.